When is enough for Chelsea Football Club this season? I'm getting fed up with this season. I'm so done with it already. We've got the worst manager in the club's history. And now, Chilwell and Levi Colwell are added to this ever-growing injury list of the club. It's a shambles. What is going on? When is it going to be addressed? We've currently got Carney Chukwemeka injured. Benoit Badashine injured. Ben Chilwell now injured. He is undergoing specialist medical assessment. Levi Colwell beginning rehabilitation program. Conor Gallagher, absent due to illness. Wesley Fafana, continuing to undergo rehabilitation program. Reese James, the same. Lavia, hasn't even barely played 20 minutes of football for Chelsea. The same. Nkunku, barely played this season. The same. Ogachukwu, the same. What a joke. What is happening at Chelsea Football Club? It is constant injuries. Todd Bowley sacked all the staff that were the apparent problem of why players kept getting injured at Chelsea Football Club. Well, guess what? They still are. This is a mess. This is, for me, the single biggest problem at Chelsea Football Club right now. Forget the owners. Forget the manager. Forget the performances on the pitch. If you can't keep your biggest assets or your assets fit, because it's gone from being our best players, for, for this is for a few seasons, by the way, to now even squad players not being able to stay fit, you can't get them on the pitch to see if they're even good enough to get you results. That's the biggest problem. And if they can't stay fit, you can't sell them. And if he wants it to be a business, you can't generate any money if your assets aren't sellable or aren't playing to generate more profit in their performances and increase their value and their worth. This is such a mess at Chelsea Football Club right now. I'm Dan and I love to talk about Chelsea. You might have seen me on Chelsea Fan TV. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe because I am as fed up as you are with this season for Chelsea Football Club right now and it's just getting worse. It's such a mess. I just don't see how you solve it. I don't quite understand what is happening at Chelsea Football Club in terms of medically and scientifically how these players keep getting injuries. Ben Chilwell, we all know he hasn't been that good since returning from injury. And he's he just needed rhythm. He just needed to be maintained to stay fit. He's injured again. He is washed. He is done. If he cannot stay fit. It's the same as Nkunku. We've spent a fortune on this guy. We've barely seen him in a Chelsea shirt. The same as Lavia. How are they not being prepared and maintained by medical staff so that this is prevented? If, if at the slightest point they could feel the injury reoccurring or they know they're in a condition where it's probably best to rest, why are they not being rested? Why are they not being told, look, sit out training this week? Because 90% of the injuries we're seeing at Chelsea right now aren't happening on the pitch. I barely see a player go off injured. I think they go off, they get injured in training. And for the last few seasons, this has been repetitive. Rhys James hasn't been able to stay fit. And Golo Kante was never fit. The players that are durable and the players that are there week in, week out are Chelsea's biggest assets right now. Conor Gallagher is obviously not, he's on that list, but he's not injured, he's ill, which is a difference in my opinion. You can't help that, okay? But the other players are consistent names on that consistent injury list that's consistently ever-growing every single week. What? What help is it having players that can't stay fit? But what help is it having medical staff that cannot keep their players fit? I, I don't understand. I, I'm not there to see what's going on. But there are other clubs in world football that do not have these issues. None at all. That is, it's a joke. I'll give you an example. And it's not Chelsea. But let me tell you this. Dembele at Barcelona missed consistent games time and time and time again at Barcelona. Was barely ever fit. Was always on the treatment table. He's gone to PSG. Nothing. No sign of injuries. Some clubs are switched on and they just get it. And they have perfect injury records. And players recover well and they recover in the right way. At Chelsea, it's, recently it's been the opposite. We never used to have problems like this as a club. It was always Arsenal and Liverpool. They had shocking injury records. Chelsea's players were able to play a consistent amount of games. I think when Conte won the league, we only, or Mourinho, one of them too, we only used something like 16 to 20 players the whole season because they were all able to stay fit. 
What's going on now? It, it can be so many different things. It could be nutrition. It could be training. It could be what they're being asked to do. It could be stress because we're not doing that well. But whatever it is, it needs to be fixed. And right now, for me, this is Chelsea's single biggest issue. Things won't ever improve at Chelsea if our best players and our squad players and just our playing staff in general and our medical staff can't keep people off the treatment table. Now, they're either in there because they can't be asked with the season either, or they are genuinely injured. And if they're genuinely injured, that's where my biggest concern is. Because I wouldn't be surprised if there's players in this Chelsea squad going to the treatment table saying, oh, I've got a little bit of a niggle, I don't fancy it this weekend. Because I don't think they're made of the sort of stuff that players were in years gone by. Players in years gone by would turn up and play whether they were injured or not. And I think players in this Chelsea squad, we've quite, we've, we've been, pro it's been proved to us that these players don't want to fight. They don't want to play for Chelsea as much as the fans want them to. And that's why they're in the treatment room all the time. They don't want to be part of a mid-table fight. They don't want to be part of a team that's having a tough game every single week. They don't want to be part of a team that's managed by Pochettino who don't give a, who doesn't have a clue. And I could understand that to a degree. Whether or not they're the right player I'd want in a Chelsea shirt, I'm not sure. But if they keep actually getting injured and they are real injuries, there's a massive problem that needs to be addressed because you can't make profit off of players if they're not fit. You can't raise the value of players if they're not playing games. You can't win games if your best players aren't available. You can't build a squad around a team of players who aren't available. You can't have faith in players that aren't available. You can't give captaincy to players that aren't available. There are so many issues if players consistently aren't fit. And the worst thing about it is we've spent all this money, and I would say over 50% of the players we've bought in as our marquee signings under the Clear Lake ownership are injury prone. It's crazy how bad it's been. And there are players at the moment who have been able to put together a few games who are on that list that have been injured more than they've played. But they're at the moment, they're managing to maintain their fitness. But it worries me, because of the shallowness of the squad right now, after all this money spent, the players will eventually just wear thin in terms of who can replace who. Left back now, is just coming back and Chilwell's injured. You can't write it. There's never a battle for who's better, it's who's fit. In so many different positions for Chelsea Football Club. And we've heavily overly recruited in some areas that don't seem to get any injury problems. It's mental. Honestly, I don't understand. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be fixed. Because as a business and as a football club, neither can progress if the injuries are there. Whether the manager's good or he's not, if he can't pick players, you can't blame him. And I've said this. This is the one thing I'll say time and time again for Pochettino and Potter and Tuchel and Lampard. If the players aren't fit, you can't blame them unless it's their methods that are causing it, which is up for debate. So let me know in the comments down below, how do you fix this injury crisis that Chelsea Football Club are going through right now, right off the FA Cup, right off the rest of the season? Because if players are still picking up injuries now with 10, 15 games to go in the season, right off. Because they'll be done now. They will be done because some of them will have their focus on international tournaments in the summer and some of them will go, do you know what? This season's done. I'm writing it off. My injury's going to take a little bit longer to recover and come back from this time because I want to do it right. Which I think Chelsea have been guilty of not doing properly in recent years. We've rushed people back because we've been desperate. And then they get injured more and more. We've delayed surgery. Go and look at the best clubs around and they have such a spot-on medical procedure that as soon as a player's injured, they get sent to a specialist, they're brought back in the right way, they're managed for months afterwards to make sure it doesn't happen again. Chelsea Football Club, it's consistent. We are probably, in terms of how many injuries we've had and days missed, we must be close to the top. We must be so high up the list in terms of Premier League sides and European sides. There can't be many teams worse than this, and we never get the press... We never do because we spent so much money and we should be all right. But this is the number one biggest problem at Chelsea Football Club right now. Because it doesn't matter who the owner is. It doesn't matter who the manager is. What the results are on the pitch. If you don't have players that are fit enough to play, that is your biggest problem. That's your biggest issue. No matter who's where in the club. 
That is the biggest issue, and it has to be fixed. I'll catch you in the build-up towards this Newcastle game, which could be a shambles with the amount of injuries we've got right now. I'll see you in a bit. 